A lot of people ask me, you know, I say some negative things about Florida when I do some of my videos. And I'm not trying to be negative on Florida, but people ask me all the time, says, okay, if you don't like this and this about Florida, why do you even live in Florida? So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Why I personally live in Florida and I why I believe Florida is the best place for me. And it's not the, like the common things, oh, the weather, the fishing, you know, things I talk about. It's a particular reason why I live in Florida. And I'm probably going to end up staying here for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'll travel and everything, but it's a big reason. So stay till the end. I'm going to tell you guys why I live in Florida. And this reason might affect you and you don't even know it's affecting you until you hear the reason. Maybe you'd be like, oh, wow, that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't make sense at all. But for me, it made a lot of sense for me to move to Florida. So stay till the end. Also, do me a favor. I'm doing some videos coming up. I'm going to interview some people that really have the insight in Florida and basically real estate and the economy and everything. And I'm working on those really, really hard and getting the people together to do those. So subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And, and do me a favor, give it a thumbs up and share. So why this video idea even came up is like, I think every time I do a video and I talk about certain things in Florida, you know, I might say a couple of negative things. I'm not, there's no perfect place to live in, in my opinion. I lived in, I grew up in New York. I lived in New Hampshire. I lived in Maine. I lived in South Dakota. I lived in Wyoming. I lived in Colorado. I lived in Pennsylvania. And I lived a couple more places too out in, out in the West. And I'm not, I'm not saying I visit, I actually lived there. You know, I worked there, I had a house there, I had a driver's license there. So I got to know those areas pretty well. And after all the traveling, and not only that, but I, you know, a long time ago, I traveled most of the states to check them all out. And Florida for me became a place, and I'm telling you, Florida does have a lot of negative things. And I'll give you a bunch of negative things of any state. You pick a state, you know, do you, you guys know a perfect state? I don't. But it's a really, really big thing to the meet the needs of certain people. Yes, the weather in Florida is, is great. It's a pro and a con. Right now, it's like almost 90 degrees and we're in mid-November almost, which is nuts, but it's, it's warm. Uh, June, July, and August, yeah, it's humid, like, forget about it. I, I hate it, you know, especially me. I have to go up in attics, and they're like 130, 140 degrees sometimes, you know, during the daytime in the attics and inspect the attics. So fishing, yeah, I love fishing in Florida, and that was one of my reasons, not the main reason why I moved here, but, you know, fishing is, is, is a big deal to me. In the summer over here, this negative parts about fishing, the water temperature is like 88 degrees where I am off of Tampa Bay and on the Gulf side. And, you know, fish don't like the hot water. Well, I consider, you know, mid 80s and higher 80s hot water. And they don't like it. Actually, the fishing is better in the winter. And the winter weather is, you know, you know, December, November, December, January, February, are are the best months in in uh, Florida uh, for, to live. One of the other reasons why you know I moved here, Tanya, my wife, you know, she loves the beaches. She really does. And yes, there's beaches on Long Island. There's even beaches where she's from in New Hampshire and Portsmouth and stuff and everything. But these beaches she could go to all year round, and so it was a big benefit for her to you know, go to a place that she go to different beaches. She, you go to the East Coast beaches, which are the rough, water's a little bit rougher, but you have a nicer breeze. And if you like surfing or things like that, you have the East Coast beach. And it only take us about two and a half, three hours to get to the East Coast of Florida. You know, you go there for a weekend or anything, but I like the Gulf side and the Gulf side is nice, calmer, more relaxing. It's, it's, um, that's the kind of beach I like, where the water is nice and like glass. In the morning, if you wake up really early and you go out on the boat, it's like glass out there. I love that stuff. One of the benefits of living in Florida for me 
is no state income tax, but I can counter that. There's no state income tax, but I get killed in car insurance and homeowner's insurance. It's just not just me, but this video is about me, why I live in Florida. But for everybody, you know, you're saving on income taxes compared to some other states, but you're also paying three, four times the amount for, for car insurance and homeowner's insurance. Like it's, it's, it got to the point that it's just stupid how much insurance is. And people like on car insurance, they're like, oh, what's your monthly payment for car insurance? It's not even what do you pay yearly? And a lot of insurance companies around here won't even give you a yearly pol policy. You know, like I'm trying to get a yearly policy and they're like, no, we could give it to you for six months because they don't know what's gonna happen here in Florida within six months. And they want the opportunity to raise your rates 20, 25%. And what are you gonna do? You need to have car insurance. And homeowner, homeowner's insurance, I pay a ridiculous amount, but you know, but that's, if you have a mortgage, you have to have homeowner's insurance, but you know, if you don't have a mortgage, you go what's called bear or, you know, what I, what I recommend people, and I'm not an insurance agent, but what I would do is go what's called a la carte. You know, if your house has never been flooded, hasn't been in a hurricane damage or anything, and you just can't afford the regular premium. Talk to your insurance agent, see if they do anything called a la carte, you know, do fire theft and liability, the most common things, you know, talk to an insurance professional. But yeah, th this con's this con's in Florida. Outdoor recreation stuff. Yes. I mean, I'm not, I golf, I'm horrible at it, but um, fishing, I fish all year round. You know, it was a big joke between me and my wife. She's like, how long you want to stay in Florida for us? Like, let's just go during the fishing season. Because I moved here in 2009 and full time, but we had a place before that. I think we bought it in 2004, 2003. And I said, let's just go and stay in Florida during fishing season. And she didn't realize it because coming from the Northeast, she's I was like, when does, when does it end? I said, December 31st. And then I, she said, when does fishing season start? I said, January 1st. So it was like a joke between us. So, but she came down here, believe it or not, kicking and screaming. And one of the big things were for her was her family. She didn't want to leave her family. But now that we live in Florida, we actually see more family now than we did before. They could be living 10, 15 miles away from us or even shorter. And then, but now they'll fly to Florida because of the weather and the beaches and the restaurants and, you know, just getting away from the ice and the snow. So now we actually see them longer because they actually stay with us. So now... If you're trying to convince my wife to leave Florida, she would go kicking and screaming. You know, she she won't leave Florida. But when she first moved here, she was like, you're counting the days. Because I told her, let's try it for a year or two. She was literally counting the days of when she could leave Florida. But now, you know, she has friends, you know. She has a really good job that she enjoys. And we have a good lifestyle on the boats, whatever. So that's another reason why we stay in Florida is because we built a life here. And now, since we moved here, a lot of our family has moved to Florida too. So now they're five minutes away and we get together all the time. Up north, you know, it, when it gets cold, people don't want to do things. They just want to stay in where it's warm. Another reason why we love Florida is just things to do. And we go on the boat. We go, we could go to Disney. We could leave in the morning, go to Disney and come back in the afternoon. I live in Tampa area, in Tampa Bay. Disney is about an hour and a half away. Spend the day there or we could we go to Cocoa Beach, you know, or go to the Space Center or go. This is just so much, you know, we got SeaWorld or Busch Gardens right here in Tampa. So there's tons to do. So on the weekend, when it comes Fridays, we could say, hey, what do you want to do this weekend? And we literally have a list of things that we could do, you know, but at the same time, so many people move here and they think it's going to be paradise and it's going to be one vacation. That's all it's going to be is one big vacation. And it's not. So when you first when we came down here before and we stayed three, four or five days, yeah, it was one quick vacation. But when we moved here full time. It was just the same as when we lived up in 
New Hampshire, New York, or any of those areas. It's just every day was a grind. We worked. And then on the weekends, we figured out what to do, or we had to do things around the house. So if you're thinking that you're going to move to Florida, it's going to be one big vacation, it's not going to be. But one of the things why we love Florida is because literally we could plan on things to do and places to go. Another reason why we love Florida is because we like to travel, we go down to the Bahamas. We like to go on cruise ships. And, you know, we were doing it before, but when we were in New Hampshire or New Jersey, we would have to fly to Florida, stay in a hotel, you know, get, get to the cruise ship and, you know, go on the cruise and come back, stay in a hotel, pack up and then fly back home. It, it was a little more of a hassle. Right now, we could be like, seriously, we could say on a Thursday, say there's a cruise going out of Tampa, we could say, hey, what do you want to do this weekend? Oh, let's not go to Disney. Let's go on a cruise. We could literally drive to the ports of Tampa or Cocoa Beach over there and go on a cruise ship for three or four days. And believe it or not, back, back in the day, I don't know if they still do it, but you guys should find out you would go to the cruise station the day of the cruise, like a few hours before and say, hey, do you have any availability? And they were giving them out like, like it was nothing. Like have like a go bag and just say, okay, we're gonna go on a cruise for three days to the Bahamas or something. Show up there and say, I wanna, I wanna book, a, a book a trip. And you won't believe the deals that they were giving. I don't know if they still do that, but find out. Or, you know, other things that we could do you know, over here, we could go, down, take the ferry from Fort Myers down to the Keys and hang out at the Keys for a little while. That's what I'm saying why one of the biggest reasons we love uh, Florida is because we can make a list of things to do. I'm going to talk to you about why it's why I moved to Florida and why I need to stay here. And it don't get me wrong, Florida has gone downhill a little bit, and that's why I'm negative on a few things. You know, the rise in insurance costs, you know, like I was telling, just the cost of everything. Houses is ridiculous. Everything. You know, Florida led the way in inflation. So it wasn't just me moving here. It was like freaking millions of people. We surpassed, we surpassed the population of New York. So I always say Florida is turning into one big New York. Every time I meet somebody, I say, hey, where are you from? Oh, New York. Where are you from? Oh, New York. So it's, it's, you know, it's crowded. There's definitely pitfalls and comment below and tell me what you guys like Florida or you don't like Florida. But here's the biggest reason, okay? Living in New York and then I went to Wyoming, Colorado, South Dakota, tried the Midwest, wasn't crazy about it. Went to Maine, it went to New Hampshire, but here's the deal. It was, it felt like Labor Day Okay, like somebody would flick a switch and it would go from beautiful weather to cold, clammy, again, dark earlier. And when it got dark in the winter, I went into hibernation mode. So what did I do? I just, I didn't, I just felt like sleeping. It felt like eating all the time or whatever, you know, just, I didn't have the energy to do anything. And it became more and more serious. And I didn't put two and two together. I was like, what's, what's going on? So I went to a couple of doctors and they say, you know what? You're lacking vitamin D. And I'm like, vitamin D? I never really, you know, knew about it back then. She's like, yeah. So go get these sun lamps that produce, the, like imitate the sun, you know, take vitamin D, whatever they were telling me to do. So, you know, I did, a, I did all the remedies that they were talking about. So, but it wasn't working. It's not like I could carry a, a sun lamp around with me all the time. It's still... It felt like eight o'clock, nine o'clock felt like it was midnight or something. And I wasn't, during the winter, I'm not saying I was depressed, but I wasn't feeling right. But when, when spring came and summer came, and then, you know, we lived on the water there also, you know, we were on the boat, I was fine. But winter came, I wasn't feeling that great. And over a few years, you know, we figured out what it was. So that's why we originally bought a place in Florida. So when I come down here, I would leave there where it was dark and I would come back here because don't forget, it stays lighter here in Florida longer than it does up, you know, up north. And then I was getting sun. And I was feeling good. Then I would go back. I wasn't feeling that good. So I'm like, you know what? 
I can't do it anymore. Life is too short. So we moved down to Florida full time. And since I moved here, there's a lot of drawbacks, but I feel good during the summer, spring, winter, all year round, I feel good because there's plenty of sun, okay? That's why they call it the sunshine state. So I'm getting plenty of vitamin D and you know me hibernating six, seven months out of the year, that's all gone. And that's the big, big benefit, okay? And yeah, I do love fishing, you know, I, I do love the outdoors and I do love that thing, but for me, it was technically a medical issue why I moved to Florida. And, and a lot of you, you know, in the Northern States that it's getting darker earlier, you might, you know, you guys might be like, oh, I'm suffering from that too. Go to your doctor, talk to them. See, you know, maybe it's a vitamin D thing. If, you know, they might tell you, hey, move to Florida. You, you just never know. But that is why I live in Florida. The big reasons. I can give you a list of thing after thing after thing why I live in Florida. But the big reason is vitamin D. I need the sun. I need to be outdoors. I cannot handle the winters in the Northeast or even in Wyoming or that. And I'm not, and you know, right now they always say, oh, your blood thins out when you're in Florida. Maybe it does because when, when I go to back North, you know, back to the Northeast to visit family and stuff, I am just freezing and they're in shorts and t-shirts and I just cannot handle how cold it is over there. But, over here, when it's 60 degrees, it feels like it's 20 degrees and you're wearing a sweater because there's still humidity in the air. But the people from the Northeast come down here and they're actually swimming. They're in t-shirts and stuff. So you adapt to it and your body will adapt to the heat. Not, don't get me wrong. When it's 100 degrees, you're not going to adapt to the humidity and everything, but you will adapt to it. So that's the reason why I live in Florida. And like I said, I'm going to continue just state on the, all the videos. I'm going to continue stating the facts about Florida, the good and the bad. Do me a favor, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel and don't miss out the videos that I'm going to do. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.